place to hide, a place for me to hide. Do 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 Bum, 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 bum. What is up guys? Welcome to another beach talk. I hope you guys are all doing good. I was laying in my comfortable bed. I thought to myself, ah, I don't want to, I don't want to go out today. I don't want to do another beach talk. But then I thought to myself, when? Are you ever going to be here? This day will never ever exist. We're creating something very unique right now. So I'm like, get up, get up, and just start doing. So I have no script today. I didn't plan this video. I just thought, let me go out, let me create, and hopefully it will come to me. Now, um, Look at how beautiful it is here, guys. I hope you guys are really taking this in. I wanted to talk to you guys about hard work today. Guys, I know you maybe watch my video sometimes and you guys might think like, oh my God, Yambo, Yambo has it so good. Yamba has it so good. His life is its such a good life. But it's not like that, guys. It's not. Every day I wake up. I also go through the exact same things as you guys, you know. I know Superman can do no wrong. But I also go through the exact same things as you guys. And I am sometimes just tired. I just sometimes don't want to do. But... I think the people which really can come to those heights are the people which push even though they don't want to. Just give that extra gear. Even though that you're tired, even though you want to drink, you want to sleep, you, you just want to give up. You say, let me just let me just try one more time. Uh, yesterday I was watching the Serena and Venice Williams movie, and I have to give it to Will Smith. I think he did an incredible job in that movie. I don't know. It's one of those movies which just motivates me because I'm like Serena Williams and Venice Williams. They came from such such a horrible neighborhood. And they did not, they didn't have really the opportunities that other tennis players had. But they never gave up. They put in the work, even though it was unfair. They put in the work. And the thing which struck me most about the movie was the fact that even though the father knew that his kids were like super talented, he wanted his kids to have a normal upbringing. It's a movie that really moved me. And I understand why Will Smith got that Oscar. Yes, I was hating a little bit. I was like, oh, Will Smith, he sucks. Why, why does he deserve this Oscar? Sometimes it's not about the best movie because at the end of the day, there are certain movies which I've watched and I've been like, did he really deserve an Oscar for that one? But then again, I thought that Will Smith did an incredible job. He really carried that movie. He really, really did. Now, harping back to being the underdog. I've always been the underdog, guys. No one has ever believed in my word. I was together with a girl which I loved. She left me because she did not believe. And now as I walk here, I'm just like, 
I wish, I wish, I wish that uh, things were a little different, you know, but then again, I'm grateful because if people didn't screw me over, if, if I didn't go through the things that I went through before, I wouldn't be the man that I am today. So for that, I'm grateful. Everything always works out in the end, whether you like it or not. I'm a living testament to that, that if you put in the hard work, <laughs> if you really put in the hard work, I'm not talking about like you wake up one day and you half-ass it. I'm talking about you focus your mind at it and you work on just becoming good at something. You know, when I started filming and and creating all of these like documentaries and all of that, I started I started a place called Ung Film. I used to go there nearly every day after school. And they had these really good computers. And they had Final Cut on the computers and they had all these different programs they had. Uh, what is Logic Pro? So I would, what I would do is, after school, as I would go there, I would borrow a computer, write myself on the list, start working at that computer. Then I started, I started editing, starting to learn how to edit. Okay. Then when when I mastered editry, then I went over to beat making. When I mastered beat making, then I went over to filming. One thing which I noticed, which a lot of people weren't doing, was everything. Like usually the other people which would come to this studio, they would just focus on one thing, maybe what? They make a short movie and then they're, they're really good at that, right? But I remember Eva. My, uh, what is it, creative mother should always say like, I think you're going to be something very special. Continue the route that you're going because certain days I would come there and just create garbage and she would look at it. She's like, what are you like? Like I, I wouldn't even have like a script, right? And I would just create and just, oh, today I did this, like some weird like video, which has no like even it has no script it's just like a weird like artsy thing and she's like continue right and that gave me enough confidence to create and that was the best part because i think creating from creating from a jungle in your head sometimes is the best thing because you kind of you kind of learn how creative you are, right? And I don't know, that's something which I, I really appreciated, the fact that I got the time to create, the fact that I started learning a little bit more about my creativity and how I can push it, what its limits are, what, what I'm really good at, what I should work on. Because I think creativity is a muscle which you can train, anybody can train, but there are certain people which are a little bit better at it. Of course, I am, if you've noticed on the channel, but uh, yeah. So I would come there, I would evolve this skill and 10 years later, look at me. I'm somewhere in Thailand, walking on a beach, creating a video, just doing something random. And that's the thing which I've noticed with life. Life is random. Every day is different. You have to be prepared for anything. And sometimes I release like random videos. The reason why is just because that's how my mind works. It doesn't work in this like linear way. It's very messy. It jumps from here, there, 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 there. 
But then again, that's, that's just how my mind works specifically. But uh, yeah, creative wise, I learned a lot from that place and I'm very grateful that I got the opportunity to be a part of that, that studio. It ended up closing down, but I'm here and most of the people which laughed and talked shit about me, I don't even know what they're doing. But one thing that I'm certain about is that they're not creating at least. So I think the meaning of life is just to be creative or at least my meaning of life is to be as creative as I can for as long as I can and then we'll see. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully next year I might be doing the same thing, but if I'm not, I know that I put in the work, I know that I did what I was supposed to do and I'm satisfied with that and I hope you guys are satisfied too because there's nothing worse than waking up one day you're 80 years old. Oh no, 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 I don't want to get wet. You're 80 years old and you realize that all that time has just been wasted. You could have been doing something amazing with your life, but you chose not to because you're too tired or you're too lazy. Or you wanted the cookie. I am not one of those people. I will push and I'll be creative till the day that I die. So guys, I'm almost at the end of my little Detour. It's pretty cool. Beautiful. I'll be going back creating some content for the day. But remember guys, hard work is essential. You won't get anywhere without hard work and I got sometimes people writing to me like can you teach me how to how to do it, how to get there, how to, it's something that you have inside. Either you have it or you don't. No one ever taught me anything, no one ever told me which way to go. It's just something you have to figure out during, during the, the way there. And yes, it does suck not knowing how things are gonna pan out the next day, but i rather wake up every day, try my best, have it pretty okay, but have it unorganized and I don't know where I'm going compared to sitting at a place and waiting for death. Because death is coming for us all and I don't know, I don't want to be that guy who wakes up one day and it's all over. But uh, yeah, it's a very beautiful day today, guys. Very, very beautiful. I hope you guys learned something from this video. And I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.